Hey, what's up with it? It's your boy Brent C. You damn birds, man. Uh, I just want to do a video today about unforgivable sins, man. Uh, I truly believe that everybody can. Everybody is probably if if they haven't experienced it, they will experience it. Uh, unforgivable sins, and what I mean by that is things that people do to you that's like unforgivable you know what i'm saying like and this applies this ain't just for men uh for y'all women listening or, or women you know that could do things to you for y'all guys listening this can be your kids this can be your fam uh, family your your parents grandma granddaddy whoever teachers you name it whoever it is best friends whoever and i'm gonna just give you a few examples and uh and, and 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 basically i'm just doing this to let y'all know like bro have more self-respect quit putting up with this bullshit we got one life life is too short to be putting up with the fuck shit bro for real so like say for instance like your friends for instance um you know let's say i got i got a best friend you know my homeboy let's say he fucked my girl i gotta cut both of them off i have to cut both of them off because i never be able to trust him you know, people could be like, well, I just won't trust him with girl. No, fuck that. Bro, you disrespecting me extremely hard. Like, I can't I can't ride with you no more. We could be down for 20 years, but, bro, I can't ride with you no more behind that. You know, you my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? You come in and rob me in my crib or you stick me up one day. Bro, we can't ride together no more because you just showed me you really not my friend. Your real people in life is going to respect you to the utmost. You know, if my dad or my mom did some super foul shit, you know what I'm saying? If they, if, like, say, for instance, if my dad just crashed out one day and come and kill my mom out the blue, you know what I'm saying? Like, out of an argument or some shit, bro, I got to cut him off for life because that shit is unforgivable. It's just what it is. If my kids, if I had a son and I was married and he came and killed my wife, you know, and like I said, it, it can, it's always exceptions to every rule. But like, like if my son was like somebody laced his blunt or some shit and like he was out of his head and he did some shit like that. Hell yeah, I'm going to be mad as a motherfucker. I'm probably going to have to beat his ass behind some shit like that. But I kind of understand that better because it was kind of a cause and effect. But like if you just doing this shit out of some bullshit, like, you know, you brought it upon yourself to do that. It's premeditating. You knew what the fuck you was doing. That's an unforgivable sin. Straight up, you know, just whatever. You know, I got a lot of people, not a lot, maybe like two or three people. Because a lot of people, they across you, but they don't really be on no unforgivable sin shit. I'm going to tell you, this shit really matured me because I really used to hold on to a lot of little shit. You know, girl, or my girlfriend cheating on me or some shit like that. Bro, I can forgive that shit. I ain't talking about, like, forgive it to where I'm going to stay with the bitch. But I ain't going to sit there and block the bitch and be on some fuck this bitch for life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't never rock with her ever again in life. Like, I hate her guts type shit. Nah, it's just on some, hey, that's just what bitches do type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. So... That's just how I look at that, you know what I'm saying? And it really helped me grow. Like, when I had uh, my first unforgivable sin uh, placed on me, then I was like, you know what? All these little things that people done did to me over my life, you know, arguments I done had with people and I was beefing, um, people doing little petty shit, like talking shit, uh, you know, just, just little, just little things, you know, people, you know, trying to air me out on social media and I wasn't rocking with this shit at all. I fall back on you that from that, but it ain't going to be no point to, it ain't going to be nothing to where it's like, I can't ever fuck with you at all. Like, bitch, we not even on speaking terms. It ain't like that. But you know, when I, when it got to a point where I had like family members, like trying to fuck with my girl and shit and you know, I seen like shit like my baby sister, you know, we had a family member try to, you know, steal from her and shit like that. It's just, you know, shit like, I mean, if you kids, that's one thing. You got to factor in everything. But like, if, bro, if my, si if my sister tried to come and break in my crib and rob me, 
if my sister came and broke my crib and robbed me, bro, that's an unforgivable sin, man. Because, like, bro, you could have just fucking asked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, bro, it's just certain shit like that. You know, I, I got people that I was rocking with real tough, and then they talking about fuck me. You know what I'm saying? That I can, I can call that a petty, a petty disrespect right there. But if you constantly saying fuck you, fuck you, but you only come and you only start coming around when you need some shit, but then when you can't get what you want, you saying fuck you, fuck you, that accumulated to an unforgivable sin. Cause it's like, bitch, fuck you. Cause it's just like, I ain't finna put up with this shit, bro. Cause you didn't, it's like death by a thousand cuts. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't, you didn't did so many consecutive petty sin, like petty crossings. To the point to where it didn't it didn't snowball to me not being able to fuck with you at all because i didn't lost all respect for you and that's just all what it comes down to y'all is respect that's you gotta have self-respect because you know with self-respect you know you 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 realize your self-worth and and that's just what it is man like if you respect yourself to the utmost, people will respect you to the utmost. And if people who won't, then they gonna get the fuck from around you. That's just what it is. Like, you won't even allow them to be around you. They won't even allow themselves to be around you. Because they gonna know they can't get over on you. They hate this shit. All them people that be scheming and shit, you carry yourself as a thorough nigga. People ain't gonna fuck with you like that. And if they do, they gonna get what they got coming to them. That's just what it is. So, like... I always hold your standards up real high, man. Life is too short. We got one life. Real talk. I mean, life is too short to be dealing with shit you don't want to have to deal with. So, like, don't be letting these people cross you, man, committing these unforgivable sins. And it's, and it's pretty rare. I mean, I mean, I ain't going to say it's rare. It happens every day. But I'm just saying, like, most of the things that you fall out with people about really can be fixed. It's just, that's just what it is. You know, it, it can be reconciled. It's, it's fine. I've had issues with people for years and not then like i said like after i had you know family members cross me on some real shit i was just like you know what maybe this shit ain't so bad you know what i'm saying like may maybe my ex-girlfriend cheating on me ain't so bad you know i ain't gonna never be with her again but i ain't really fucked up by this shit no more you know what i'm saying like i'm not i'm not fucked up by this shit like i thought i should have been is what i'm saying like, it's just not that big of a deal, you know. <laughs> when motherfuckers start throwing boulders at you, them rocks don't hurt like that no more. You start being like, ah, you know, life will toughen you up, man. Life will thicken your skin. So, man, just keep rolling with the punches, man, because life uh, only promise you th two things. That's heartbreak and death, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not trying to sound all gloomy and fucked up on here, but those are the only two things that we promise in life, you know. Letdowns and death, setbacks and death. So, we got, uh, everything else is what we make it. You got to take what you have in life and just build on top of that. Take, everybody has a unique strength, unique talents, unique things that they're good at. And um, focus on that. I mean, everybody has a, a, a social circle that they accept them. Focus on that. So, I'm just trying to speak positive, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you have to cut out the negative. And uh, you will never appreciate the sunny days without the rainy days.